hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me today um so for this video i just wanted to sit down and uh work on some halloween designs so i thought you know why not film it so i'm gonna be doing this on my uh red iguana practice hand i'm just starting by uh putting some tips on these are the same tips that i used on my last video um they were really really long and they were stilettos so i decided to just you know uh, cut them and i just fixed the shape a, um, a little bit so for my colors today i chose to go with white to black and then uh, this super light pink it's from uh, amy lee gel polish this is the color 115 and i will be doing two coats of each color And I'm just going to go in with the uh, second coat and I am curing each coat for 60 seconds in my uh, LED lamp. Um, also, just a reminder, if you guys want anything or you like anything I'm using in this video, um, I will try my best to link everything in the um, description box down below. Um, now that I cured everything, I'm going to go in with my Ugly Duckling Matte Top Coat and I'm going to apply that on all the nails. This is just to make it easier for me to like do the designs on top because it gives you like a nice smooth um, surface. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but usually when you do the designs on top of the tacky layer, the colors tend to bleed a little bit and they just don't look as good. So my tip for you is to definitely do your designs on top of a matte surface they end up looking a lot better so yeah i'm gonna cure this again for 60 seconds and i'm going to wipe the sticky layer and then we're gonna continue with the design So I'm taking my Universal White from Magic Nails and then just a normal strapper brush and I'm going to be doing a uh, spider web on uh, this um, black nail here. I really love this paint because it's super pigmented so I don't ever have to go over my designs twice which you know saves me some time. Um, I always start by coating my brush making sure that every bristle is coated and then I do some lines on my tile just to, uh, you know, make sure everything is nicely coated. And I, I kind of do have a hard time doing straight lines. You know, you need a really steady hand. So I always have my, um, you can see where my pinky is resting, is resting on my middle finger. I find it, it really helps me to like uh, get my lines where I want them to be. But, you know, practice makes perfect. I'm gonna be taking my detailer brush from Ugly Duckling Nails. This is a super, super tiny brush, great for doing detail work. I will be adding these uh, tiny, you know, curved lines to finish the spider web. Uh, I'm not really worried about making them perfect. It honestly looks a lot better when they're not that perfect. So uh, yeah. After I'm done this, I will be curing everything for 60 seconds. I also forgot to mention, but I did cure the first lines that I did and 
now i'm doing these smaller ones you can do everything all at once whatever you're comfortable with or you could do each section and then flash your in between um i just find you know to flash cure after each couple lines it's easier for me that way if i do end up making a mistake i can just you know remove it and start over um which you will see uh in a bit i will be adding a line that i did not like but um yeah i just find it easier to flash cure in between um that way you don't accidentally touch something and just ruin the whole design and have to start over So this is what I was talking about before. I did end up adding this line, but I wasn't really happy with how it looked. So I decided to just remove it. So I have a little bit of um, acetone on my Q-tip here and I'm trying to remove as much as I can. But like I said before, this um, paint is really pigmented. So it did end up leaving a little bit of a, you know, couple white streaks here and there so uh you'll see the way i end up fixing it is by dipping my uh, brush in uh, the tiniest bit of black and i'm just going over that little spot and i am curing everything for 60 seconds after i did that i'm going over the first lines that i did just to make sure that everything looks nice and blended i really do think that it makes a difference when you go over um the longer lines because it just kind of blends in with the um smaller ones okay so we're gonna give that a final cure for 60 seconds again and then i'm gonna move on to the next nail for this one i'm gonna be using the universal black from magic nails again um again amazing paint very pigmented i love it and uh, i will be doing a crystal spider nail for this one and i i'm starting by doing its little um, head and i'm doing that by using a dotting tool now it wasn't as big as i wanted it to be so i actually ended up taking the back of a brush it was uh, the point was a lot bigger so i dipped that in my paint gel and you can see here it uh, i did make a little bit of a difference so once i'm happy with that i'm gonna cure it um now that it's all cured i'm gonna do the body of it and i'm just kind of doing it in like a diamond shape uh, that's what i had in my mind so yeah let's make sure you leave uh, enough space on the sides of the nail for the uh, little legs that we're going to be adding later Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a thicker uh, brush and I'm just going to be filling in everything and I will be curing this for um, 30 seconds. Once again, I'm not too worried about it looking too perfect because I will be adding crystals on top of uh, the spiders so not much of the black will be showing through. I'm just adding four tiny lines on top of its head just to make it look a little more realistic and then i am drawing the uh, uh the little legs from uh, that corner there and i'm kind of making them into like a v shape and the first set of lines i always do them longer than the second one um i don't know i just feel like that's how that's what spiders look like <laughs> but yeah i just find it it looks a lot better and more realistic like this um yeah, so I the the hardest part about doing 
spider is trying to make them look even like you can see here they do they're not even but it, it didn't bother me too much at the end because it still looked good but yeah try your best to just you know line them up and make them uh, look even from both sides once again i am not doing my lines very straight i kind of want them to be a little messier uh, because they do end up looking better when they're uh, not perfect After I am done with that, I'm going to cure everything for 60 seconds. And so this step is optional. You don't have to do this, but I just like to add a little more detail. I am going in with uh, the white gel paint that I used before. And I'm just going to be adding uh, some tiny white lines in the middle of uh, each little line for the legs that I did. I just find it adds there really nice uh, detail for the uh, end result. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna do a final cure of 60 seconds and then we'll move on to the next design so uh, for the pinky and the pointer finger i will be doing the uh, blood drip design uh, i am using the uh, burgundy from en vogue i love this color um, especially for the uh, blood drip design and the way i like to do it is by taking my dotting tool i place a little dot and i drag it up um i wasn't too happy with the last one that i just did here it was a little too straight um i wanted it i wanted that little point at the end so uh, i'm just gonna fix that i'm taking a little bit of uh, acetone don't do what i did here just take a q-tip and do this it's a lot cleaner um again this color is very pigmented so it did leave a little bit of uh, uh, a stain but it, it didn't bother me too much i just moved on and did the drip again yeah this is a lot better i'm saying i'm gonna take my uh sh the same strapper brush that i used before and i'm just gonna connect everything um to the uh, cuticle area just have fun with it and make it as messy as you want uh add your own style to it but i just like the uh normal standard looking blood drips it's just the easiest for me to do and i will be doing the same thing on the pinky but i will be adding glitter to it instead I'm so sorry I did not realize that my hand was in the way so you can't really see what I'm doing but it's basically the same thing that I did on the uh, pointer finger um, but you will see me adding glitter on top of it later so I'm not gonna cure this one um, I'm not gonna cure the design I'm just gonna put the glitter right on top of it and then I'm gonna cure it for double the amount of time so i'm gonna cure it for two minutes under my lamp to make sure that the um, glitter really sticks to it After curing everything, I'm just going to remove the uh, excess glitter using a brush. And uh, now that I'm done with all the designs and I just have the crystals left, I'm going to top coat everything. I'm top coating the spider and the spider web nails with uh, matte top coat. And then I really like the pointer finger. I like the drips being shiny on top of the matte surface. So I will be adding, um, sorry, I will be going over it 
with a tiny brush with um, no wipe top coat like um, the shiny top coat. Okay, almost done. Just gonna wipe off the tacky layer of the wet top coat and then we are ready to apply the crystals. My favorite part. Okay, so I will be using the red ones over here and I'm gonna also be adding some caviar beads and to adhere my crystals, I'm gonna be using the uh, gem gel from uh, Valentino Beauty and just my uh, wax pencil, just any wax pencil. Um, I'm gonna apply it only on uh, to the body of the spider. Apply a generous amount. You want to have a little bit of um, kind of like a wall when you press the crystal into the gel. I don't even know if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, I'm gonna start by applying two big crystals. I'm not sure what size these are, but I want to say they're ten. I think SS ten. I believe this one is a uh, SS8 and then the rest that I'm using are SS5s and SS3s. Um, I am covering the whole body of the spider and then whatever, um, whatever is left uh, to be covered, I will be filling it in with uh, the caviar beads that I showed you before. Whatever look I'm really doing on like myself or on a client or whatever i always love to add these little beads i feel like they add the most beautiful detail and just you know finish uh the look so uh yeah once i'm done with this i'm gonna be curing this for 60 seconds what i love about this gem gel is that it does not leave a sticky layer so you don't have to seal it or anything you're good to go it's also very strong uh, my clients always come back and their crystals are you know still in place um but yeah this is it for this uh video thank you guys so much for tuning in today i hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as i enjoyed uh doing it um please subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos and i'm sorry i don't upload i don't um upload as much but i'm trying my best it this to get used to this youtube thing um and yeah make sure you follow my other social medias i am usually more active on instagram and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video bye